I'm going to put Gorilla Clear on the bottom. So this way, this won't slide around. The tape is temporary hold. I'm going to take a rubber band. I'm going to place it on. Give a little, uh, you know, turn like so. And give another twist. And maybe that will hold my boat from sliding. The boat likes to slide on these things. So there you go. I got, you know, a number of a twist on here. I'm good to go. I can even put the rubber band on on the bottom of the legs like so. There we go. That's not going to go anywhere. Now this will slide off like so. I'm trying to prevent that. So this all is going to get uh, rubber cement and all if I need to work. Now I am showing you the Dean's plug. On the outer edge this part here is making it lose a connection. I don't love Dean's plugs. So in here is where everything's going to be uh, wired up to. I'm going to take the screws out, see if I can get to the wire and if everything is secured. I'm going to see if I could free this up a little bit more so I can have more room so I could cut these plugs off and put on some XTCs. They are a better connector if asked. So for right now, what I am going to do is get the battery and show you what's happening. Do your best to look inside to see if it's corroded and the way it's set up. Red for red. You can see when I plug this in how the outside terminal is going to hit because the inside's got the spring. Now when I connect, you're going to hear the boat make acknowledgement. Making nothing. And... Every couple of times I do that, I would make a connection here, something. I'm hearing nothing. And I just got this battery off of the charger. So what we're going to go do is, you know, give a little sand. I'm not sure what has happened. But I got some sandpaper. Don't have to sand a lot. That's enough to clean this up you could use an eraser head as you can see it's getting nice and clean that's a nice shine on the other side I don't have to sand it looks good clean it up and now we're gonna give it a shot maybe it will acknowledge hopefully it will work there we go. You just heard the sounds. You've seen the lights flicker in the back on the side. That's all it took. Now, always, that is not a good connection if it's constantly losing. Connect it once again. And we're good. So that means I could go another day without changing these plugs. And if I need to change it, I'm going to order a new set correctly and place it on. These are XT60s. They are a better connector and they hold a lot stronger than Deans. Deans are just Deans. So this is the right size, everything correctly for it. And this is what they should be using. I hope this video was a little bit informative. I need to get in here and I need to get the rest of this water out. I was offered a tip, a hint, by taking the boat, putting it in the water, watching if it's going to leak anywhere on here, all along the side in a dry sink. And maybe that will give me my information of a leak. I can put a camera in the boat and I can look and see where the water is coming or just physically take a look and see where all that... Uh, dripping this is coming from. I'm most sure these seals are clean and they're not going to lose any watertight seal but you never know where water can enter. It can enter from the hoses and it may be too much pressure. There are a number of places. There's a hose up front over here, a hose here, a hose here, and a hose there. I hope this video again was somewhat helpful.